Allergies are mild form of asthma, but you have eczema, you have nasal rhinitis allergies, you have food allergies with digestion, you have all different types of allergies, but they're all interrelated, but it affects a huge percent of the population. Asthma and severe allergies affects about 15% of the population. It could affect up to a third of the population has at least some allergies, and then children have about 15% have as are asthmatics. Um, so yes, yeah, a lot of people can be suffering with this. And what I'm saying here, like other diseases, the medical profession can make things even worse with drugs. And they can turn a mild asthmatic or a person with mild allergies and start medicating them. And then they have severe allergies and more chronic conditions from the use of the drugs they give to treat them. Can make things worse. Like antibiotics. When you give antibiotics for viral infections, when children are young with their first cold or their first ear infection, you start to give them antibiotics and it makes their future ear infections and sinus infections more serious. Likewise, when you start using beta agonists, those rescue inhalers, over time it makes the lungs more irritable and it get, makes the lungs more hyper-responsive and you develop more chronic allergies from the use of these medications they give them. And of course, there's non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, aspirin and Motrin and Aleve. These things also can worsen asthma and create asthmatic in the use of medications, which people are not aware of.